Sometimes I really hate what vibe coding and AI coding has done to the whole principle and art of coding. Don't get me wrong, there are so many things that I do genuinely love about coding with AI. I don't have to worry about weird documentation or weird syntax. I don't have to worry about writing huge amounts of code that's not actually mentally stimulating. It's just a lot of code for a lot of code's sake. I think it's really incredible how in this day and age, we've almost become language agnostic. You don't really have to become a deep expert in certain syntax and certain languages because LLMs help write all that code for you just with natural language. And let's not forget the fact that now with coding with AI, everyone's output has automatically 10x because it is so, so powerful. And these are all great things, but there's something about the pre-AI coding era that just felt a lot more magical about writing code. I almost felt more like an artist creating his own artwork instead of just someone just typing in natural language and kind of treating it as a slot machine for what the results are gonna come out at the very end with AI coding. I do miss that artistry aspect a little bit about writing code myself, writing code manually. And not gonna lie, sometimes I feel a little guilty for using AI to write so much code. For example, the other day I was playing around with building out a Mac desktop application in Swift UI. And I've used Swift UI a little bit in the past, but it's been a really, really long time. So I was just gonna vibe code it myself and vibe code it into existence. And as I was doing this, I was able to get the Mac desktop app to work, but I really didn't know all the nuances and all the details of what was going on. Now, a part of me felt guilty, but then the other part of me was also like, dude, this is just an implementation detail. This doesn't really matter. On one hand, it's really beautiful that now literally Literally anyone can build an app theoretically, but on the other hand, it almost feels like everything I studied for during college and everything I worked for during the pre-AI era is kind of useless because it kind of is. And then I start crashing out and spiraling, thinking about how I wasted my entire life studying computer science in college and coding and becoming a software engineer. But then I zoomed out a little bit and I thought about it a little bit more and I don't know if this is copium or if this is the truth, but I'm pretty sure this is how certain people felt like when they transitioned from coding in assembly to more object-oriented languages or when the people transitioned from coding in C and they had to manually allocate memory here and there to writing in Python, JavaScript that does all this crazy memory allocation for them. While the relationship between being a traditionally trained developer and using AI tools can be a bit complicated at times, one thing that isn't complicated is the importance of shipping really, really fast when you're building out your own products. And if you're looking for one of the fastest ways to turn an idea into a working app, then you should check out Bolt.new, the sponsor of today's video. The thing with most AI coding tools is the fact that they're great at generating code, but terrible at helping you actually build and deploy real applications that can be used by real people. Bolt.new is different because it's not just a code generator, it's a full stack app builder. You can just describe what you want, build me a task management app with user authentication and Stripe payments, and it doesn't give you code to copy and paste, it actually just builds the entire application, database authentication, payments, everything for you. Literally, you can just describe what you want and within minutes, you will have a working full stack application with a fully working super based backend, Stripe integration, responsive front end, the whole thing. Not a demo, not a tutorial project, but something that you can actually deploy in use. The reason this works so well is because Bolt removes that massive friction between idea and execution. You know that feeling you have when a great idea hits you at 2 a.m., but you know it's gonna take you multiple days just to get the dev environment set up, configure the database, authentication, blah, 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 blah. Bolt just handles all of that for you. Whether you're an entrepreneur trying to validate an idea quickly or a developer who wants to prototype faster or someone who just wants to build something without dealing with all the setup nonsense, Bolt.new gets you from idea to a deployed application faster than anything else out there. You can try it out at Bolt.new, link is in the description. At that time, what seemed to be some expert level knowledge these people had to have immediately got phased out. But then there became a new level of expert level knowledge that people had to develop instead. And maybe AI coding is just one of these other paradigm shifts that we went through from C to Python and now from Python to AI coding with natural language instead. And when I really, really think about it, I don't think I could ever personally truly identify as a developer or a software engineer or let alone a computer scientist. I've talked about this on the channel before, but I'm truly not an opinionated developer. I hate diving into the technical weeds of how certain data should be structured. For me, all that matters is, does the product work? Can users use it? All right, it's a win for me. So really, I was never a developer. I was never a computer scientist. I was never a software engineer. I identify more as a product builder than anything else. And just right now in my life, coding just so happens to be the medium with which I build product. Building product is the art form that I love and coding just so happens to be my medium. But I also understand that for some people, that is not the case. Some people really love diving into the technical weeds and that is their expression of creativity and art. And in that case, I could see the argument that AI coding is kind of ruining coding for 
for them. And I mentioned this earlier in the video, but I do think there's a large cohort of software engineers that actually don't love using AI because it does make their job feel useless because this AI model is literally writing code and doing a huge portion of what used to be their day job. And now it feels like anyone can build an app and anyone can code. And that is true. But in somewhat of an analogy, I do think people are saying similar things about like TikTok and YouTube when it came out. It's like theoretically, and now anyone can post videos on the internet. Anyone can become an influencer, a creator, a celebrity. And that's true. But still a very, very, very small pocket of people actually did that. And right now with all these vibe coding tools, I do think now truly anyone can build software. The bar to build software has become so, so much lower. But once again, I think very, very few people are actually going to take that plunge into actually building product, marketing it and launching it. And if we're really, really being honest, I'll admit it, a lot of engineers have a ton of egos and a lot of us think that, oh my gosh, like I am the key part of building a successful startup. Without me, the engineer, no one can build a startup. If I build a great product, everyone's going to come to use it. But we all know that that's a total lie. Just because you build a great product doesn't mean people are going to use it. You have to market it. You have to get customers. You have to grow it yourself day after day. And you also have to build a really good product. For 90% of products, I truly believe that the technology, the software that was built was never the moat to begin with. It was the marketing. It was the distribution. It was the community that formed around it. That's the moat. That's how you get real users to use your app. And now I think it's just forcing a lot of software engineers to not be able to just only rely on their technical skills to get them through their career or get them through life. I do think a lot of just pure and nine to five software engineers that work at big tech companies, I do think it's a pretty scary time for them with AI more directly coming for their jobs. But I think for people that are building products their own to identify them more as builders instead of developers and computer scientists, I think for pure builders, pure entrepreneurs, AI coding is one of the best things to ever happen in the world. I know it has been for me at least. Anyways, this video was a bit of a crazy rant, a little yap session out there. I love AI coding, kind of hate it sometimes, but I think I love it more than I do hate it.